Good afternoon and thank you for coming. Um, the Utah Physicians for a Healthy Environment are acting as consultants to this community group and um, we'd like to weigh in on the health consequences of this facility and make a few comments about these recent events. Closing down the incinerator at Stericycle should be the easiest of many pollution battles that we currently face. On the issue of air pollution, Utah's government leaders often talk about going after low-hanging fruit. This is the lowest of the low-hanging fruit. Stericycle is a business that shouldn't exist. The only conceivable benefit to incineration is the reduction of volume, a minor one at best. The only presumed rationale that has been used for incineration of medical waste is the elimination of pathogens. That has been disproven. On the EPA's website are citations of several studies that show overall pathogen burden of hospital waste is no greater than household waste. Quote from the EPA's report, after citing numerous studies, the authors concluded that hospital waste present no more risk of infection than household waste. Again, quote, the authors concluded from their results that hospital waste were no more contaminated with pathogens than household waste. Quote, a similar conclusion was made by a researcher named Roll in 1974 who cited hospital hygiene and disinfection procedures, end of quote. The claimed necessity for medical waste incineration is further discredited by the fact that incineration does not even reliably destroy bacteria like MRSA, which has been cultured from the chimneys of medical waste incinerators, or prions, which cause Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease and proven to be in human tissue. The incineration process, in fact, creates new toxins that were not in the waste stream to begin with, like dioxins, furans, and polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, or PAHs. And it merely concentrates and redistributes existing to toxic contaminants, like heavy metals, and as you've seen here, radioactive isotopes. Radioactivity is a known contaminant of the hospital waste stream. But the blatant violation of Stericycle's permit that clearly prohibits incineration of radioactive waste elevates the health threat to the surrounding community to a whole new level. No amount of radiation exposure is safe. Quoting from an article in the New England Journal of Medicine, the world's most prestigious medical journal, the flagship journal of mainstream medicine, quote, mutagenic, that means cancerous, Mutagenic effects theoretically can result from a single molecular DNA alteration. Regulatory prudence has led to the use of a one-hit model for mutagenic and endpoints, particularly cancer, in which every molecule of a carcinogen is presumed to pose a risk." End of quote. In fact, the medical community is now much more cautious about the radioactive burden of many of our common diagnostic tools like CAT scans because of this emerging recognition. We used to make the statement that considering the most deadly components of combustion emissions, like heavy metals and PAHs, that Stericycle emitted as much as a full-scale oil refinery. With the revelations about dioxins from Aaron Brockovich's team and their apparent total disregard for the radioactivity of their waste, it is fair to say that we have greatly underestimated Stericycle's health consequences to this community. Stericycle provides no benefit to the public, produces no goods or services that are needed. Incinerators as a means of handling waste are outdated and are widely recognized by multiple international health organizations to be serious public health hazards. The overwhelming majority of communities throughout the country have closed these incinerators. Utah state and local governments made the serious mistake in siting this facility in the most heavily populated area of the state and then compounded the problem by allowing residential areas to be built right up to the property line. State and local governments must now correct the problem they created. Stericycle has repeatedly shown in multiple ways over a long period of time 
that they no longer deserve to operate in our community, and our community has shown through multiple events that we are determined to finally correct the stericycle mistake. The largest medical network in the state, IHC, no longer sends waste to the North Salt Lake incinerator. We call on the other large customers of Stericycle, like the Salt Lake Police Department and the airport, and other large healthcare networks, like the University of Utah Hospital Network, to stop sending their waste to Stericycle as well. I'd like to turn over a couple minutes to our Executive Director, Tim Wagner. 